Well, I'm Louis Randa, and I direct the Peace Abbey here in Sherburne, Massachusetts. And it's my, uh, my pleasure to uh, uh, be with Dodd and others to host the 9-11 uh, Families for Peaceful Tomorrows once again. Uh, as I think about the work being done by uh, you folks, it reminds me of uh, the efforts made in a little village in northern Spain, Granica, uh, which on the 26th of uh, April, 1937, uh, took a severe attack by Franco and uh, the elders there continued to educate their their youth about the powers of forgiveness and we had the opportunity a few years back to honor them with the Courage of Conscience Award. And they were all in their 80s and 90s and they spent a lifetime teaching their the, the youth of their country, uh, the, the, the boss Gary in particular, that uh, revenge uh, retribution uh, simply leads to more suffering for everybody. And what I saw in their testimony is the uh, essence and spirit of Families for Peaceful Tomorrows. It was really uh, a reminder that if, if we don't know how to forgive, uh, we don't truly know how to love. And love is the only solution. Uh, uh, everyone knows that. Uh, they, it's, it's hard to, uh, to be empowered as a nation to believe that, but individually and certainly organizations can teach us how. And that's what I love about uh, the work being done by Families for Peaceful Tomorrows. Uh, I hope that my children and uh, my children's children uh, have passed on to them the lessons of 9-11. That it's, there are times in our lives when we uh, receive unfairly uh, attacks on our person, our reputation, uh, and the only response that uh, will put you on the one on the uh, the high road, if you will, is to uh, to absorb all that you can. The biblical saying, "Turn the other cheek," the hardest thing in the world to do. Is it always the best thing to do? Uh, each person has to decide for themselves. But as far as I can tell, that should, at the very least, be our goal. And 9/11 and and the work of. Uh, you folks, having lost a loved one, teach, uh, continues to teach us and inspire us and educate us as to how to do it. It's, it's, it, it doesn't come naturally. Uh, I think if we work hard enough, the time comes in our lives when it comes naturally. But uh, you, you, one has to uh, look for leadership. And uh, we, we thank you, uh, David, and all of uh, the work being done by your organization. And you're always welcome back here. Uh, because you make the Peace Abbey worth keeping open. And I've, I've often said to groups such as your own, as long as you keep using the space and, and, and uh, finding utility in the, uh, uh, the buildings and the property, uh, we'll find a way to keep it open. So you're choosing the Peace Abbey to have your retreat uh, here once again. Uh, it gives me hope that we'll keep the doors open so long as people like you uh, come and knock it. So uh, much love to, to everybody connected with your organization and, and most importantly, much love to the people who listen closely to your message because if we fail to learn from the, uh, the lessons of 9-11 as taught by your organization, uh, sadly, w we're doomed. But if we learn how to forgive, there's that beautiful, uh, forgiveness prayer that we have uh, at the Abbey and it was found uh, etched on a, a, a sheet of paper on a woman in Auschwitz and it, it, it reads as follows uh, uh, Lord remember not only the men and women of goodwill but also those of evil will and in remembering the suffering they have inflicted upon us remember too the fruits that we have borne thanks to this suffering our comradeship, our cooperation, our love, the greatness of heart which has grown out of all this. And when they come to thy judgment, let all the fruits that we have borne be their forgiveness. And I see families for peaceful tomorrows being their forgiveness in the work that you do.